altitude. I think I'm out of fuel. I'm out of fuel. I'm going down. Where am I? Hey. That looks like a person. Huh? Hello? Oh my god, it's a guy. Oh, what the? Oh, that's not a guy. Oh my gosh. I don't think he saw me. Oh. What the heck was that? Okay, let's check the coast here. Alright. I don't think the werewolf followed me. I think I'm okay for now. A little bit of movement out there, but I think it's just... Just a few little animals. Alright, let's get back inside. It's too dark to investigate. I'm just gonna wait here. Okay, I think the coast is clear. Here's the scenario. I'm stranded in Minecraft again, but this time it's for real. Now the irony of this situation is I just completed a 14-day survival challenge in this horrific realm of Minecraft. I was dropped off deep in the middle of this place. Alone, no camera crew. It's just me. My camera here. No food, no water, the whole thing. I was supposed to survive for 10 days. To my credit, I did indeed survive for the 14 days. Alright, let's take a peek. There's something moving around out here. Hear the footsteps. Sounds like a spider right up above. It's still too dark to go out and look around. So I'm just gonna wait right here. Just gonna wait it out. Wait for the sun to come up. Come on, sun. Let's go. Alright, there's definitely something out there, but it's uh, it's nighttime now, it's too dark to investigate. So I'm just gonna hook down and wait. Anyway, as I was saying. So my production crew left me with a small plane, a GPS unit, and enough fuel to escape Minecraft and fly back to civilization. In my excitement to get out, um, I kind of dropped the GPS uh, off a hill and uh, broke. But I didn't know. So I flew off and uh, my plane kind of, well, not my plane, but my GPS led me astray. 
And now back here in Minecraft. Surviving. But this time it's for real. Alright, there's something out here. I gotta check this out. I don't want to be trapped like a rat in here in this dead end, so I'd rather fight out in the open if I have to. Let me go check this. See what this movement is. Uh, uh, scared the living poo out of me. Just a chicken. Alright, all right, let's get back inside. Alright, not a problem. It was just a chicken. Alright, I've been here before. I'm an expert survivalist. I'm trained in this. So, tomorrow, when the sun comes up, I'm going to go out and assess my situation. And I'll start surviving. Rescued, I'll find my way out, or I won't. I'm gonna record the entire ordeal on this camera. Hopefully, if you're watching this video, then maybe I made it out alive. Alternatively, this was found on my body. I hope it's the former. I hope there's a happy ending to my story here. If not, Okay, well, still waiting through the night here. Um, I've got to stay positive. No more of those morbid thoughts about not making it out of here alive. So if I'm going to get out of here alive, I need to stay positive and I need to stay proactive. And on a positive note, well, the rain stopped. So there's a bright side to everything. Whoa. But I think that werewolf is still out there. Okay, proactive. So... Let's uh, let's take stock, see what I have from my inventory here. Pulled out a bunch of stuff out of the plane and some of the stuff that I had with me from the, uh, well, day 15 extraction. Hold up, hold up. What is this? I see movement out there. All right, just got to stay hidden here. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's see, what do we have? Oh, I did get this emergency box that was pulled out of the plane. Let's see what's in there. Oh boy, something out there. All right. Open sesame. Oh, good. Look at this, an inflatable life raft. That may come in handy for local exploration. I'm not going to be able to take that out to sea. Seven pieces of scrap paper. Uh, I guess I could write, in a, write a message, drop it in a bottle, and say, come save me. That's not going to help. Twelve redstone torches. That's going to be good in signaling. These never go out, rain or shine. Excellent. And an orange space blanket. A wool space blanket. That I can use for building a shelter and also in signaling. That's going to come in handy. Hold up. Oh, lots of movement out there. All right, so that's a pretty good find. All right, now, what do we have here? We have the GPS that's buggered, does not work. I'm going to have to deal with that. Maybe I can repair it. Um, my cake from my Day 15 extraction celebration. Thanks, crew. Unfortunately, it didn't save me. A little stale, too. Sour milk. Oh, my gosh. Oh, hey. It's a wolf. It's not the werewolf kind. I think I can kill you. Yes, I can. The werewolf I'm worried about. I can kill a regular wolf, obviously. Okay, well, I got some leather. Uh, a clock that tells me roughly the time of day. It's just like a sundial, so as you can see, we're in the dead of night. Oh, no. The rain started up again. Uh, so much for my bright side. Lots and lots of movement. All right, let me eat some cookies while I'm here. I haven't eaten. Oh, sugar fix. All right, that's not going to help me on the surface, so I'm just going to put it in the chest for now. Empty bucket, eight torches, and some bread. I'm going to save the bread, flint and steel, and, of course, my axe. 
I'm going to need to make a weapon very soon tomorrow. In fact, let's uh, let's talk about tomorrow here. So I'm going to try to get some sleep if I can, but I don't think that's going to be. I don't think it's going to be uh, quite as simple as I hope. Just prop myself up here in the corner and try to get some shut eye. Tomorrow I'll head out, take a look at the plane, see if it's what kind of condition it's in. I will search around, look at the site, see if this is going to be the place where I'll be able to build my shelter and make a stand here, hope for rescue. Um, so I'll, set, I'll assess the situation and uh, take it from there, but I, I, I need sun, obviously. And I'm going to have to deal with that werewolf guy. He's out there, and I you know, know werewolf lore from all the children's stories and the movies. Um, I, I know he's going to be human. Of course, if there's humans around here, that, that might be a good sign. Maybe there's some kind of civilization. But I might have to deal with him, and I, I guess I'll cross that bridge tomorrow when I face him. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Uh, looking pretty grim, but... Well... I don't have much choice, do I? All right, time for some shut-eye, I hope. Okay. The sun is on the rise. And there's a skeleton. You, my friend, will be toast very soon. And I'll have a big old grin on my face. Now, I don't see that werewolf out there yet. I know he's out there. All right, there he is. Still a wolf, has not turned back into a human. All right, well, hopefully he does. And then I'm going to have to deal with that guy, one way or the other. All right, well, here's day one of my survival here in Minecraft. Lost, stranded, waiting for rescue or to find my way out. Surrounded by things that want to rip my throat out. It's all good in the hood. Creeper. Oh, good. This is just lovely. I can't sit in here, can I? I'd like to. <laughs> Make a phone call, order a pizza. Get a taxi ride home. And that ain't gonna happen. I have to take out that creeper, too. Oh, jeepers. Oh, no. Oh no. No, don't see me in here. Don't see me in here. If I can stay concealed. I've got a spider above. Daylight is already going to start waning soon. Day doesn't last long around here. I'm gonna have to build a shelter up on top too, by the way. I don't like being down here on this low level. Alright, prioritize. Creeper first. Can't do anything with this guy here. That was easy. All right, the coast is semi-clear, clear enough to check my plane. Make sure, that werewolf is gone. Let's see what's up. Hello! Where did he go? Hmm, maybe he's got some kind of shelter around here. Alright, I need to get moving. I'll look for him later. If I see him in the day, I'm gonna have to... Well, I'm gonna have to give him the axe. Rather deal with him as a human. Alright, assess my plane here. Uh, wings look okay. That looks okay. We got a yeah, flat here. That was flat too. Great. Gonna need some repairs. Of course, I need fuel anyway to get this started up. Hi. And the prop. Yeah, broken. All right. Well, so much for flying out of here with just finding fuel. So. I'm going to have to repair this and find fuel as well. 
but I might be able to do that. In the meantime, I'm going to have to shelter. And in a situation... What? That guy is huge! Oh, Lord. Just great. You just stay there, Mr. Big Jai Green Guy. <sighs> All right. Well, I guess I'll shelter here. <sighs> okay, in a situation where you're lost, stranded, and you expect rescue, and I do expect that my studio has contacted the proper authorities and that a rescue operation is underway. In a case like this, your best bet is to stay in one location where you, when you discover that you're lost, if the location can sustain you. There's a few things you need to look for. The optimal conditions is number one, you want to have a place where you can build some kind of signaling. I'm not going to be found out here. I flew for a long time off course. It's going to be like finding a needle in a haystack, so I'm going to have to give my rescuers a better chance of finding me. So I'm thinking right there, nice flat land, 360 degree visibility, no high overhangs, I can build a signal. I can use my redstone torches and maybe that space blanket. Nice and bright orange. Okay, that's taken care of. Um, plenty of resources around for building a shelter. Wood? Whoa, what? Why now? First we're friends? Is it something I said? Okay, from now on... God, just be more aggressive. I'm just going to take them out first. Surprise attack. Hmm. Uh, the other is... Food and water. I'm going to need sustenance. I've got fresh. This looks like fresh. Mm, yeah. Fresh water and food. I could fish in there, most likely. I've got pork. Oh, hi. Friendly wolf, dog. Kind of friendly. To me, anyway. Hey, thanks for the wool. I could probably use that. I can fashion a bed and have a nice comfortable night. I've got food here. Excellent. I'm gonna grab some while I can. Nice arrows and bones. You know what I'm gonna do? I wonder. Hey doggy dog, come here, little friend. You. Oh! He likes me. I'm gonna you're my buddy. Not you, though. This is great. I've got some companionship. <laughs> that was completely unprecedented and unexpected. I'm going to save my pork for me, though. If one of us is going to need it, it's going to be me. You can eat whatever you eat. I don't have any bones for you, my friend, but look at... Oh, this is fabulous. All right, things are looking up. Got myself a little mini wolf friend. All right, let's focus here. All right, let's get my bearings. Let's get back to the site selection. That's north. I came in from the south, southwest. West is there. East here. Sun's going to rise there, so I want a shelter that's going to face the sun to get the most sun throughout the day. That's going to be good. Whoa. I thought I was getting attacked by a bluebird there. Hi, you are friendly, and you're awfully close. All right, let's let's uh, let's get the upper ground. I, I want to build a shelter up high. Some kind of fish out there I guess I could slaughter. So I've got food, I've got water and food. So sustenance appears to be taken care of in this site. Got a nice high canopy here. This is where I want to be. Oh, yes. Now listen, dog. Come here. Just stay. Stay put for one second. Stay. Yes, good. I don't want you falling to your death, dummy. Ah, this is excellent. Yeah, oh, I want to be high up. There's a lot of predators down here, apparently. Wherever this is. And I would rather not be on the ground. Especially in a hole that has one entrance and one exit. I'll use that cave for storage or something, but I'm going to build a shelter here. 
So I think I've got all the all the conditions met for a proper shelter for a proper site. So now I have to do is get working on this the shelter and start collecting some resources and start building. Uh, in fact, let's do it now. We'll have a lot of daylight here. Oh, black bunnies and chickens. They like to scare me in the night. Right, let's um, let's clear some of these trees from the plane. So I'll have a so don't push now. I need to give you a name, don't I? What should we call you? I'll think about that this evening. While I'm waiting to be eaten in a shelter somewhere. Alright, so we've got plenty of wood. This is good. Now I've got to get this meat cooked up. This pork. I'm going to need to make some tools. I'm going to need fuel to cook it. Some kind of furnace. Excuse me. Alright, I'm going to bake. I'm going to pair this wood down. I think I have this axe. This is great. And let's make a big table for a work area. This will be good. Right here. And now, chop these down to some smaller sticks and I can fashion myself Pick. Excellent. I think I need a flint right now. Let's get some stone and I can make a furnace. I need to cook this meat before it spoils. So far, so good. All the good conditions, the optimal conditions are met for survival. I just have to stay alive until I'm found or potentially out of here. Alright, more stone, more stone. I think that should be enough. Let's grab one more. Ouch. I keep banging my head on this stuff. Okay. Sam? Spot? Spike? Spike's good. He's gonna keep me company and happy. Have somebody to talk to. Alright, let's uh I'm gonna need a weapon just fashion very basic stone sword and I'm gonna put a bunch of rocks together here on the ground and I'm gonna need some fuel for this yes sir I can use sticks for fuel cook up that meat all right how are we doing for time oh not good not good here comes the night shadows. Boy! Girl! Boy! Come! Stay! Guard! I can't believe I have a wolf. <laughs> this is looking good. Alright, so... Looks like I made it through day one. Okay, cannot complain. Cannot complain. Now I'm gonna have to... Alright. I didn't eat breakfast, did I? I am famished. I'm just gonna mow these down. Oh, that's good. All right. Um, looks like I'm gonna have to build a shelter tomorrow. Up top. So tonight, come here. You who? Come, come, come inside. Come inside. Not safe out there. Come, come on, come on, boy. Inside. In, in, in. Stay. If something sees you. It's gonna try to eat you. You know what? I'm going to use the wool you got me. Thank you, little man. Man, dog. Oh, I could probably string my tarp up here and block that, uh, that space blanket. But the problem with the blanket is it's bright orange and it might attract attention. Yeah. I'm just going to hide, I guess. And I might be able to get some sleep here in this bed. This, this ain't looking too bad there, pup. I'm going to sleep and think about a name for you. All right, day one survived. I'm going to shut the camera down now and try to get some shut eye. Hard work today, but uh, we'll get back to it tomorrow. My weapon, my bed, and my unnamed animal friend. Okay.
Good night, Spike, Sam, Rex. See you in the AM.